Hi, welcome back. This is Zamir Shaikh. Today we will going to discuss how to find out the double bond equivalent or also called the sides of unsaturation from given molecular formula, particularly the organic molecular formula. So this type of double bond equivalents prediction are generally used in the calculation or in the finding the structure from analytical data like IR, NMR, mass and UV. So, so these are the four principal techniques from which we can predict the a structure of a unknown compound. In a spectroscopy for predicting the structure from given analytical data or given data we can predict the structure and for that first step is double bond equivalent today i am going to discuss how to find out a double bond equivalent with the help of a given formula so first of all look at the formula for predict prediction of the double bond equivalent the formula is so so this dbe is equal to n plus 1 so dBE is equal to n plus 1 minus m by 2 plus t by 2. So first of all, this is the formula from which you can predict the double bond equivalent. So here, so what are the n, what are the m and what what is the t now. So first of all, uh, the n is the number of tetravalent atom. You know that in organic compound the tetravalent atom is a carbon and after that what the silica. So next one M is number of monovalent atom. In organic compound first of all what hydrogen and halogen are present generally in organic compounds. So these are the for M for, for particularly monovalent atom. For T, the T stands for trivalent atom. So again, organic compounds have nitrogen. So so this is N, this is X, H, and this is carbon and silica. So for that we are applying that formula. Now applying that formula on different examples, we will get the number of double bond equivalent. So first of all, <coughs> so take the first example of uh, the C3H6O. Now so a double bond equivalent so that is dbe dbe is it may be what either double bond or either what the a triple bond or either may be a ring so that if the answer is one so that indicate that it may be a one double bond or one triple bond or it may be how a one ring is present so first look at the example of c3h6o in c3h6o so just find out the number of carbon so then your formula is what your formula is n plus 1 minus uh, m by 2 plus what a t by 2 so what is your n now n is a number of carbon so 3 plus 1 minus m is a uh, monovalent atom that is a hydrogen that are six hydrogens are there divide by 2 and there is no trivalent atom that's why the answer should be what at the zero so 3 plus 1 minus 6 by 2 so 3 plus 1 4 minus 6 by 2 is 3 okay so so if you reduce that term particularly you can get the answer is what your 1 so here the answer of this is a 1 so basically C3H6O having one double bond equivalent okay fine let's move to the another example that is your well known compound is a benzene C6H6 now in C6H6 number of carbon that is number of uh, the formula again that is n plus 1 minus m by 2 plus plus t by 2 now so here the n is a tetravalent atom number of we can say the number of carbon so number of carbon nothing but divot here 6 plus 1 minus m is total number of what monovalent atoms so here 6 hydrogens are there divide by 2 so 6 plus 1 7 7 and here 6 minus 2 is a what 3 so 7 minus 3 it should be a 4 so basically so in benzene you know that the structure of benzene is like this one so there are three 
double bonds are there and one is a ring for that's why the so sides of unsaturation is are the four one for the ring and three for the double bond let's move to another example for, from this category that is c4h8o2 another same example is given so here number of carbon so formula is what your n plus 1 minus m by 2 plus what t by 2 okay so here n is equal to number of tetravalent atoms so here 4 4 plus 1 okay minus what m is a monovalent atom so here 8 8 divided by what how many 8 divided by 2 and plus t there is a 0 by 2 so you can write the simple 0 so here because for divalent generally we are not going uh, we are not have the system for that so 4 plus 1 should be a 5 5 minus what 8 by 2 it should be sorry 5 5 minus 8 by 2 is 4 so it should be 1 so in this compound c4 h8 o2 there is a one sides of unsaturation now let's uh, move to the another um, at example where the more number of atoms are present that is c7 h14 o2 now again the same formula n plus 1 minus m by 2 plus what t by 2 now so here take the example from that so n plus 1 means what n plus 1 means 7 plus 1 minus 14 by 2 here it should be a 0 so 7 plus 1 should be what 8 8 minus what 7 so is equal to what 1 so in this case so there is a one sides of unsaturation it may be due to what ring or it may be due to one double bond so likewise you can predict easily the sides of unsaturation from given molecular formula thank you stay connected